Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I created this channel because I wanted this to be a place where I could share fashion, luxury, and style tips for the working woman. So in my first video, I wanted to do a comparison between two wallet on a chain styles from YSL or Saint Laurent. The first bag is this bag right here, which is the monogram wallet on a chain. And I'll be comparing this to this bag, which is the Kate wallet on a chain from Saint Laurent. So if you're interested in a review and comparison of these two bags, including pros and cons, wear and tear, as well as quality, how to style them, what fits inside, and which bag might be better for you, then keep on watching. So first, let's start with an overview of this bag right here. So I bought this bag around a year and a half to two years ago in this blush pink color with the silver hardware. It's in a grained leather and it has the chevron patterning on it. So when I first bought this, I bought this for 1,550 US dollars. Although this blush pink color is no longer in stock, I do see a few other options that are available at the same price of $1,550. But I also see some that are going for $1,650, which is $100 more. And from what I can tell, there's no distinct difference in design or details of the bag that I would feel warrants the increase in $100. So I would say that if you're looking at buying this bag, try to look for it in the combination you want at $1,550 before you purchase one that is more expensive so you get the best value for your money. So this bag opens with the snap closure right here. And when you open it, you'll see that this is where the strap attaches to the bag. And you can remove this if you want to use it as a clutch. So the strap is fully metal and it's in silver, which matches the hardware of the logo here. The strap is not adjustable, but however, it is long enough to be worn both over the shoulder and crossbody. Although if you wear a crossbody, you have to be okay with it being a tiny bit short. But aside from that, I think it works fine for me, even if I'm wearing it over a coat. So in the inside here, you'll see the middle has a zippered compartment. And then on either sides of it is this open compartment. Right down here, as well as up here, you'll see that there are a bunch of card slots. And I actually counted before making this video, and there's a total of 20 card slots that are there. I don't personally own 20 cards that I carry, even in my full-size wallet but it's there if you need it. And the inside is actually leather. It's more durable than if you had a cloth lining that would get dirty easily. So how would I style this bag? So I think this bag is great for both daytime and nighttime looks. For example, the outfit that I'm wearing right now, which is just a sweater and jeans, would go great with this bag if I'm just taking it out on the weekends to run errands. In the summer, which is when I tend to use this bag the most, I wear this with like casual summer dresses or you know a t-shirt and shorts, and I think all of that works. It's also great if you have a special occasion where you need to use this as a clutch. So I would wear this for you know like a date night, a night out. Out, or if there's like a wedding that I have to attend or some special occasion, this is one of the bags that I grab along with the bag that I'll be talking about next. Now let's talk about this bag right here, which is the Kate style wallet on a chain with the tassel at the bottom. So I bought this bag around a year or so ago in this black suede with the metallic threads running through it and this sort of antique silver hardware. When I bought this bag, I bought this for 1,690 US dollars. And although this combination is no longer available, it is available in a variety of colors in the smooth leather, or you can also buy it in the croc emboss leather. If you buy the croc emboss version of this, it costs $1,750, which is $60 more than this variety. It's also available in some combinations without the tassel, if that's something you would prefer. And the ones without the tassel is actually a little bit cheaper too. So to open this bag, there is a magnetic closure here at the bottom. And when you open it, you'll see that the strap actually attaches with these two 
clasps right here on either side of the bag. So it's really easy to take off if you want to use it as a clutch. So different to the monogram wallet on a chain, this bag actually has this matching leather strap at the top. So it's very comfortable on your shoulder. And the strap length of this is actually slightly longer than the other wallet on chain that I showed you. So this is actually the perfect length to wear crossbody. However, that makes it slightly long if you wanna wear it over one shoulder. But what you could do is you can just cross the strap like so on the inside of the bag. And then when you close it, it's a great length to wear just over one shoulder. Inside the bag, you have this one zip closure here at the front, as well as this one open compartment here. And then you have your card slots back here. Similarly, the interior lining is also a leather material, so it doesn't get dirty easily. As for how I style this bag, I use this bag mostly in the nighttime. So for example, if I'm going to drinks after work, I like to put this bag in my tote bag for the day. Sometimes I would even use this in place of the wallet that I have for the day. And this just kind of changes up my business casual outfit so that it is more nighttime appropriate. As well as, you know, if I have a night out or a special occasion, I also like to grab for this bag. However, I just have to be careful that the outfit that I'm wearing doesn't really clash with the metallic threads on this. So I usually go for like a simple solid colored dress or if it's like a pattern, it's something very subtle so it doesn't compete with this. For both of these bags, I usually carry the same items in each. So I carry my phone, a few cards in the card slots, a mirror, a lipstick, a travel size perfume, as well as my keys. And although this wallet on a chain in the monogram style is slightly bigger, I find that I don't really have an issue fitting those necessary items in either of them. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this bag. So what I really like about this bag is this grained leather material because it is very hard wearing and I don't foresee that it'll have any damages to it anytime soon. And I also really like the snap button closure because it is really easy to not only open, but close, but it's still secure enough. And on the inside, I like that there's two separate open compartments here because I usually like to keep my phone separate from the rest of the things in my bag. And I really like how I can put my phone in the front over here and everything else fits back here. However, I think that this middle compartment that has the zipper could be done away with because it kind of makes it so that you can't fit too big of an item in here because this kind of separates it. But you know, if that was the case, then I couldn't put my phone separately either. And also what I don't like is that I can easily detach these two little tabs that hold the strap in place, but I can't slip it through these little holes right here. So what I usually do, even if I'm using it as a clutch, is I'll just tuck the strap in here. Whereas preferably you would want to be able to remove this so you have as much room in your bag as possible. But overall, I still use this and love it. So even with those cons, it's not exactly a deal breaker for me. So now for the pros and cons of this bag. So why I really wanted to get this bag in the first place was actually because of this tassel detail. And I thought it was something so unique to Saint Laurent. However, I do think that this tassel detail is something that makes it not very usable in the daytime. However, if you did want to use it for the daytime, you could easily get the variation that didn't have the tassel and that could take you from day to nighttime looks. I opted to get this in this suede material with this metallic threading through it, which also makes it a little more suitable for nighttime. But personally, I was just set on getting this bag in a suede material and I missed out on it years back when they made it. So when they came out with it, even in the metallic threading, I was willing to just get this. So I actually don't like the magnetic closure of this bag. Although it is secure, it's very hard to open and almost impossible to close without looking at what you're doing. And I have mentioned that I like to have my phone separate 
from the rest of the items in my bag. And because there is only one open compartment, I have to put my phone with the rest of the items because it doesn't fit in the zipper compartment. However, what I do like is that this chain strap is very easy to remove from the bag if you're using it as a clutch, because although I put the strap inside the bag in the monogram wallet on a chain, this one is slightly smaller. So I actually am not able to fit all my necessities in there if I keep the strap in there too. For the wear and tear and quality of these two bags, I haven't really had any issues with either of them and they both held up great. So one concern that I have for the future, but I haven't really had this issue yet, is that when you open this bag, because it's at a point right here, I'm a little bit concerned that there is going to be some wear and tear on this in the future. But as of right now, it's perfectly fine. There is no discoloration and none of the leather has peeled off or anything. And even though this is such a light colored bag and sometimes I wear it with jeans, I haven't actually found any color transfer on it whatsoever. And because this is a grain leather material, I don't think it will be too hard to remove color transfer, even if anything got on it. Now, as for this bag, it is a suede material. So you would imagine that it would be harder to maintain compared to a grain leather, but I haven't had any issues with this either. It's still in pristine condition. None of the metallic threading has rubbed off or anything. There's no wear and tear on the suede. And these bottom corners haven't worn out at all either, even though I stand it up like this. So as far as I see, this is perfectly fine as far as the leather goes. However, I did want to mention that I first bought this bag in a sort of like tan colored smooth leather. And although there was no issue with the leather, I did have an issue with the clasp that's holding the chain to the bag. And the tan version that I bought, the hardware was a gold hardware, and I could see on the clasp that it was rusting a bit. So ultimately, I returned that bag, and I can't actually see any rusting on the clasp of this bag specifically, but because it is sort of a darker color hardware, I don't think I would be able to see it even if there was rust until it was very severe. However, I do have to say that these clasps are not the best quality, to be honest. You kind of have to be careful to make sure that it actually hooks on securely so that this whole strap doesn't come falling off as you're wearing it. Now, which of these two bags do I think is better? Personally, I love both of these bags and I think they each serve a different purpose in my closet. If you're considering which color to get, I think you should think about the types of outfits you usually wear with these bags. For example, I tend to wear clutch style bags more so in the summer when I have special occasions. And in the summer, I tend to wear lighter colored outfits. So for example, in a case like that, it might make more sense to buy a color such as beige or blush pink. But if you tend to gravitate more towards dark color clothes, both of these bags are currently available in a black color with gold hardware. So no matter which bag you choose, you can get a standard color like black. I do want to mention that if you like the size of this Kate wallet on a chain, but you prefer the grain leather and the chevron pattern, you can get this size of a bag in the monogram design. And that actually costs less at $1,350. So that is actually the most budget-friendly option of the bunch. I think all these bags are stunning and ultimately the bag that you choose comes down to your personal preference. I do want to say that unless you really want the tassel detail on the Kate wallet on a chain, you might want to consider getting the monogram style in the smaller size instead. Reason being, it is at least $200 less than the other options, and there really isn't much of a difference in size. So you could easily save that amount of money and put it towards a different bag. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments on the bags that I reviewed today. And if you like these types of videos on fashion and luxury, do consider subscribing to my channel. 
Next week, I will be sharing a review of a very classic bag that I've wanted for years now. So stay tuned, but for now, bye!